Raven Hunty. What is the tea, everybody? It is your girl, Denali. And your mediocre queen, Cheryl. And we are here for another fabulous episode of Fashion Photo Review. You can't just shut up! Bang, 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 bang. Sorry. That song plays. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. You all were expecting Miss Raven and Miss Bimini. But listen, these are very, very busy women. And Raven is finishing filming her new competition series, Painted with Raven, which everyone should tune into on Wow Presents Plus. Yeah, you better put that ding in. And Bimini is obviously releasing the beasts from the circus because, you know, vegan, gotta look after the animals and all that. <laughs> And before you all come for me, I'm probably the 47 option for this, but everybody else is busy. So Denali Diva, are you ready to get into some UK looks? You know what, Shadowhall? Let's get into it. I'm just gonna have the fog horn going all day. And I'm gonna put on my British accent as well as I possibly can. Yeah, fabulous. Keep it going, girl. <laughs> We are going to be tooting and booting the looks from this week's runway of... So this week, the divas were challenged with the fugly beauty pageant. Should we toot it if it's ugly or should we boot it if it's ugly? As a girl that's not a fashion girl, if it meets the brief, which is ugly, then it's a toot for me because you've ticked the box. It's got to be bloody ugly. But I agree. I think as long as it fits the brief, we in it. I want to go balls to the walls ugly. I want to look like teeth, golem, nasty, raunchy, ugly, fugly slut. Bring back my girls. Welcome to the Miss Fugly Beauty Pageant. First category is Fugly Swimwear. First up, Vanity Milan. She looks like she's about to do the washing with the outfit in the sink because it looks like one of those scrubbers, doesn't it? It is taking me right back to our very own hometown fave, Monet Achange. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I had to say it in the fashion photo review styling. Ma. Ma. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chama. <laughs> It is giving me the spider's look almost, right? This is ugly. Yes. On like, just like an ugly basis. So I would say she checkmarked the fugly category. However, I want to see it even uglier, right? Yeah, I want to see like stains on it. I want to see like, she's absolutely gone to town. Like swimwear i want an ugly towel do you know what i mean would you wear those shoes to the pool or the beach yes <laughs> <laughs> i'm like a high heel everywhere i'm a little hussy oh. but i have to say i love the hair i really do love the hair it's given me very much gaga -ga 2010 but yeah you're right it needs to be bloody uglier i love the hair i love the shower cap idea i love the like check mark of the ugliness i just feel like it could have been pushed a little bit further and for me because of that i'm sorry vanity it is a boot i'm gonna give it a soft tote seeing as it's the first one and next, we've got the slag herself, Kitty Scout Claws. Oh! Oh, hello, Chucky! <laughs> she is funny. I enjoy her. I hate her, but I love her. What I love about Kitty is the attention to detail everywhere from top to bottom. It runs with the family, stupidity, and this is just the perfect category for her to be a stupid in a wig. Kitty, you can tell she's having fun, and because of that, you're having fun. Like, she just puts on such a character. The teeth really do it for me, because honestly, the rest of it's kind of low-key, kind of cute. The teeth are definitely what give it a character and make it like, oh, I'm ugly. Yes, there's a lot of like clashing patterns on the leotard, but sometimes that's like kind of sickening. Oh, she needs an ugly Betty Poncho. That's what she needs. Guadalajara. <laughs> I love it. I love the nod to her in the swimsuit print with all the kitties, if you will. The robe. It's just gorgeous. I, it's, it's a toot for me. I'm going to give it a toot. Next up. Scarlet Harlot. Now, Tanali, would you take <laughs> your Puswana to the beach? 
I'd absolutely take my Biswana to the beach. I mean, I'd have to give her a bath after. <laughs> but I really like this. I get the ugliness in the print and the cat lady storyline. It's very almost like Katya's latex look from All Stars. You know, wig cap and the swimmer's nose. Like, I love that little silhouette. But also bringing in the old woman cat lady kind of storyline makes this a lot more fun and campy. It's actually quite nice to see Scarlett with this like plunging silhouette. We saw it on her uh, Katniss Everdeen runway, but I really like this A-line because it just brings it straight into her hips and then brings it back out again. A phenomenal silhouette. I love the peplum. Gorgeous. Again, she's having fun on the runway. We are having fun with her. It just radiates whenever a diva's having fun on the runway. And there is a storyline. I think that that's what was missing maybe from Vanities is like, okay, we kind of see a storyline, but like this one's a very clear storyline to me. After last week with the lettuce, and getting lost in the hair. Having this just little swim cap is just so gorgeous and just opens up her face. I really love it. Uh, I don't think it's that ugly. I have to agree with you. I think it's a cute outfit. <laughs> I think it's ugly in the sense of like, again, traditional elements blended together, like these balls and the print and all of that. Like, yes, that makes it quote unquote ugly. But this is drag. This is what drag is, is taking things over the top and then having fun with it. So toot from me to Miss Scarlett Harlot. Toot to the moon from me. She's having one hell of a day. It's hell of a day. Do you know what? I love Ella. She knows her brand. She knows where she's going with it. But I think we've seen this hair a lot this season. There's this thing with Ella Bidet where she's got like one wig and different shades of blonde. I think something would have worked a lot better with this because it's beautiful hair. I would have loved an ugly hair. If it's a fugly swimsuit category, I would have loved something absolutely rotten. Do you know what I mean? If there had been like some really disheveled hair from the beach and there was like a cigarette in it. Or a seagull. A whole ass seagull just, just being like, mine, dangling. Mine, 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 her hair, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, the dress is, again, traditionally ugly with clashing patterns. Like, we're seeing that as a pattern now throughout. I absolutely think the, the patterns are fugly. I just think the silhouette's not quite as ugly, but it's good. I think that she does check off the category, but yes, could have been pushed to the next level. It is a soft toot for me. Soft toot from me. Oh, it's a flaccid toot, dare we? Oh, floppy doppy, who's next? Oh! Crystal Versace. A lot of what the judges' critiques have been saying with Crystal is that we're starting to see the same uh, runways in terms of silhouette, in terms of just like general presentation. But either way, it's so nice to see her almost take like a charity case direction with this and just go in something so avant-garde, so over the top. And I get the storyline. I'm obsessed with it. I wasn't expecting this at all. Like I was so gagged when she turned the runway because in my head, I'd already anticipated what Crystal would have been doing just based off what I know of her and based off what she has bought in the last couple of episodes. So for her to turn this on the first category of the evening. The only thing taking me out of the fantasy is the shoe. But I get it. I get like when you're on Drag Race and you have shoes and you're like, oh my God, I only have certain amount of shoes that I can like combine with certain things and it's the same color. Let me just throw on a pump and go for it. But like, if I was emerging from the sea as like a sea creature, I'm not sure I would have just a black pump. <laughs> I would have walked this runway with like, just, just my tights and been like floppy doppy weech. But either way, love the entire thing. Love the concept. Toot, toot, toot from me, Miss Crystal. It's a toot from me. Up next is Charity Shop Chic. Now these girls had 60 minutes to run backstage off the main stage and make a look happen. Denali, would you have coped? Because I'm having like PTSD trigger breakdown right now. Ugh. Like I immediately just got like heartburn from that. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely gonna be taking this with a lighter eye because that's difficult. So let's get into these looks. Next category is Charity Shop Chic. First up, Kitty Scott Claus and the diva has gone in the mystery ink machine and uh, given us full Daphne fantasy. 
But it also is giving like off the rack, which is, you know, charity, the category. So charity shops give me so much anxiety because I can never find anything. So for her to piece this together in that time frame, bravo diva. And I love it. I like it too. It is, again, we see a storyline, that ladies who lunch kind of moment. I'm loving these like pastel tones. I actually really enjoy the shoe as well with that little ribbon detail. I think it's very cute. This face that she's serving in the suit for some reason is just so hysterical to me. She's giving full, just like inward duck face. You know, when you press like a baby doll's face in and it's like. <laughs> Toot from me. Toot, toot, toot. Up next, we have Cristal Versace. It looks like she's cut the legs off a jumpsuit. There's not a hemline, so I thought that maybe she had made that. Kudos to her for cutting it quickly and showing off her legs. Let's address the elephant in the room though, Denali. She has changed that mug in 60 minutes and put that outfit together. So I think we should be snapping for her. Incredible. Absolutely. Kudos to her doing that in 60 minutes because just before she had black eyes coming out of her forehead and like a completely different mug. And now she is giving glamour. She is giving like that quintessential Crystal Versace face. The look, it's simple, but it definitely fits the category. She genuinely does look like the girls that go on a night out in Essex to Bar and Beyond and just gets absolutely turned up and the shoes are in their bag. Would you say she's a Geordie girl? A Geordie girl would have like no sleeves on that outfit. She's an Essex oh, okay. girl. Teach me, Slightly teach classy me, yes. with the s out. The girl grabbed all the accessories and you can tell. But I love it. Shout out to her cutting off these legs. It looks like she did to lengthen herself. Maybe it was a full jumpsuit. In 60 minutes, she changed her face, cut off the legs, and came out with an amazing look. So, toot. It's a toot from me. Eleva, Eleva, Eleva Day! Bring it to the runway, girl. Why does she look like she's in her 80s with a nice purple do? I'm so confused. This is disgusting. <laughs> Don't come for me, Ella, but girl, you look like you're about to go to bingo and give me a nice Werther's original out of your handbag. If I was to delete her face, she would look about 64. But there are some old ladies over here that dye their hair this purple. I think this should have been cut where that first seam line of the skirt is to make that so much more youthful and flirty. The belt and the fur and the bright yellow necklace and <laughs> just... All of these clashing accessories, it hurts my eyes a little bit. Her face looks so stunning and the rest of it just looks like uh, she's had an hell of a day. But if we are going for fuggly, like that has done the job. So I'm confused. Do I toot this or do I boot this? It is fuggly, but not in a fun fuggly. So it's a boot. It's going to be a boot for me too. Up next, Vanity Milan. I am living for I'm this. very rich, bitch. <laughs> I love this color on her. It is just popping off of her gorgeous skin. I also love a girl that can pull off a bowl cut. If the mug is right, the bowl cut will just serve you face, face, face. This color on Miss Milan, it is gorgeous down to a T. I would have lost the belt. I agree. I just would have chosen another belt. Like a classic black belt. Everything else is so monochromatic. I would have maybe like tied it in with the lip. I think the blue's just a bit too jarring for me. But I love the color. I love everything else on her. Very smart styling. So toot for me. Toot. The Cockney Queen is back in the house. It's Scarlet Harlow. Not the crings round the round. Listen, whatever the hell Scarlet Harlot is having for breakfast, I want some too. It's your standard sequin fabric. It's nice. There's nothing like amazingly spectacular about this, but when you put on a simple dress and the body is right and the styling is right, I think it works. This is really cute. It's fun on a night out. She's giving very hen party. Is that what you call it? Hen party, 100%. See, I'm delightfully British. <laughs> I do like it, but there's something about this this section here that's really jarring for me. I don't know whether it needs to be completely strapless or it needs a really thick strap because it just looks like half and half, which is really throwing me. She's such a pretty girl and she's so slim that honestly, she probably just should have not worn the uh, breastplate. That would have opened up her neck a lot. 
and then maybe just padded here or even just gone because that's very in right now. I mean, I'm all natural, so. Oh, same. Oh. Oh. I love the hair with this. I think that she did the right amount of booty drops. I like the styling. It's fresh and it's fierce and it's fun. What's, what's between a two and a boot? I'm very neutral on this one. You've got to choose one or the other, darling. If I've got to choose, it's going to be a boot. <laughs> Sorry, Scarlett. It's a boot from her, but it's a two for me. Next category is fugly but fashionable. And these girls had 30 minutes to pull off this one. So let's get into it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you feel the, love? the third and final category is fugly but fashionable. First up, Miss Elevade. I don't know about you, Miss Cheryl, but this is a really hard category to judge. <laughs> Thank you guys for giving us the the hardest episode to toot and boot because do we do we say it's we like it because it's ugly or do we boot it because it's ugly? Like help us out. Okay. Guys. The category is ugly but fashionable. So it has to check both boxes. This is disgusting. This is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and there are fashionable elements to it. You know, chaps can be very blairish, this like side poncho. I like the angles of things that kind of gives me fashion. Oh God, this is hard. What do you think? Look, if the, if the chaps were tighter at the bottom, so it was like a balloon pan, I would like it. It just looks like she's forgot to pull her trousers up after going for a wee wee. It kind of looks like ski pants. There's a lot of fabric there, so they're just kind of bunched up. The fabric and the paillettes that are on her, her right shoulder, like that is the ugly elements. But I agree if they had been a little bit more tailored or something like that, that would nod it to more of a fashionable place. Right now it's just kind of all ugly. Oh, I don't know. But I do see where she was going with the fashionable um, silhouette of it. For me, unfortunately, it's not quite working and I think it's gonna have to be a boot. I'm sorry. I like elements of it, but not to the point that I'm gonna give it a two, so it's a boot. Sorry, Diva. Up next, Vanity Milan. I'm gonna kick this off. Do you know what it's giving me? That dress <laughs> in the Lizzie McGuire movie that was like the yes! igloo. Yes! Mm-hmm, definitely. Which was meant to be ugly. So <laughs> Vanity ticks the category! You do see a lot of these oversized silhouettes in fashion, and we have seen that kind of like sleeping bag cushioned look a lot of times referenced in fashion. So I see where she was going with this. I think if she had like a tall underneath skirt that just kept the shape in the middle, then that would have been gorgeous. But like, I love it. I think it's ugly, but it's fashion. So it's a toot from me. It's a toot from me. Next up, Cristal Versace. Boost! <laughs> I think this is very successful in both the ugly front and the fashionable front. It's giving Moschino to me. I, there's always an element of like large, over the top outrageousness to a lot of Moschino's designs. But I really like this. And that hair is giving RuPaul. RuPaul kind of has that hair. It's giving my beast look. I like it. I like the hair. I do love all the color patterns. I love that the pink in the hair is tied in with the boot. The attention to detail that this queen has at 19. 19, oh. little bitch. But no, I really do like it. I will say though, what she said about <laughs> the silhouette. This a silhouette that I wouldn't ever go for. I'd never I do know. it. I was literally like, you did it three episodes ago, girl. <laughs> But pushing the boundaries of ugly, but making it fashion, too. Yes, too, for me, too. Scarlet Harlot, bring it to us, girl. I've got to say it. She has delivered this because I have seen so many of these girls out on the streets trying to go to Topshop to get their looks before the night out. <laughs> like, this is down to a T. I do love the storyline, I do love the character, and yes, it's very fugly, so kudos to that, Mrs. Scarlet. I think it's actually quite cute. I don't think it's actually ugly. Okay, so... Have I got bad taste? <laughs> no. <laughs> the puffer jacket is giving me very EastEnders. But I would absolutely see this girl out on the town 
This is fully camp. It's fully like a caricature and a storyline. For you, it marks off the fashionable category, but not the fugly category. For me, I think it marks off the fugly category, but not the fashionable category. I don't so hard to judge. I'm gonna give it a two because I love it, but I know what you mean. It's not fashionable. For me, I'm gonna have to boot it because it doesn't quite check off the fashionable category. Last but not least, Kitty Scott Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I love the presentation. Again, I love the character, but for consistency's sake, I have to still critique. I don't think this is fashionable in any way. <laughs> It is very fugly. I have no words. I have no words. <laughs> I hate her so much. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Kitty, darling, you are one fugly, fugly diva. And this was bloody fugly. Fashion, fashion, fugly. Look, I'm going to throw it to the walls. I'm going to take back everything I said about fashion this category. It's fugly and I don't care too. <laughs> The character was over the top and I enjoyed it. I guess I'm going to treat it as well. Sorry, it was inconsistent. Don't come for me. This was a tough category, okay? Category is me and Denali having a breakdown. Difficult. <laughs> Trend, Trend alert. alert. Beautiful shoes. <laughs> Ugly garments. And a difficult ass category to judge, okay? <laughs> yeah. Be nice that to us, kids. That was trending. That was hard. <laughs> Our top two, two of the week, week is... Kitty Scott Close! She was consistently fugly. She entertained us. The house down boots. Presentation looks tens, tens, tens across the board. Well done, Diva. You fugly bitch. <laughs> Tune in to BBC Three on BBC iPlayer for all your RuPaul's Drag Race UK needs. And everywhere else in the world on WOW Presents Plus. Even in the US? Even in the US of A. Do you know what, Deva? I feel like my eyes need a rest. Uh, I'm going to go roll around in my gorgeous garments in my drag room and just soak in the fact that I'm not fugly. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. See you next week. See you next time, Davis. <laughs> <laughs>